this is a very basic, very simple video. My plan here is just to show you how I use uh, Obsidian Canvas to display my, the information I have inside my knowledge base. We'll use my Apple to e project as an example. Here, let me show you. So, uh, a project this size will have all these files here. So, here's how I'm, I'm organizing this. These files here, they work as a journal. If you go all the way down here, this is when I purchased the computer. I'm not going to click here because it has my address, but this one here is talking about the if a capacitors that I have to change. Here's a, a sticker and, and so on. So this one's uh, th th this list here is a journal. It's where I'm I'm taking note of everything I'm doing, and it works also as a resource when I want to learn something about. I don't know how I replaced, how I fixed the keyboard. I can go back to a note. But as you can see, this is getting out of control. There's too much information here. And again, this is only journaling. I'm just uh, uh, taking note of everything I'm doing, tracking everything I'm doing. And then here we have a lot of information, extra information. For example, the cards. Here's the 80 column card that I purchased. Uh, we have here manuals for the soft card, another card. And if we go to the monitor here, the uh, green phosphor monitor that I'm working on, there are so many files. So it's kind of organized and I can easily find information here. But although it's easy to find information, I have to, as you saw, dig inside all these uh, folders here. So what I did, and I'm doing this for everything in my knowledge base. So if I zoom in here, zoom out, yeah, zoom out, you can see all that information. Everything is here, almost everything. Not, not all this because there's a lot of small details here, but if we go, for example, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the connections in a moment, but just let me allow me to show this here. For example, this is the keyboard. This is the troubleshooting. So I have pictures and then I have information and this is possible, pro the possible problems and some ideas to fix. I found all this online uh, discussing with people on forums and asking Google and, and so on. So one path here is cleaning and here is everything I've done. I did a lot. <laughs> so these are these notes here, the history. And now what I'm trying to do, because there is still a problem, I, I mean, it, it looks like it, it is, it's fixed now. And now I'm trying the other path, which is uh, replacing the capacitors, the old capacitors for no new capacitors. So this is uh, what I, uh, I, I, when I remove the capacitors, the information, there's also information here about uh, what capacitors I need to buy. And this, whoops, and this is me re uh, removing the capacitors to buy them. And this is me, this is what I did recently. I replaced them. And here is another journal entry talking about what I did. So I have here uh, the capacitor. So what I'm going to do here is create this connection like I did here, these taps. So I have here one more step. And I think it's working now, but we have to wait a few more days because this computer is driving me crazy. So here's another thing that another project, when I took the monitor apart to remove the capacitors, I took many pictures to know how to put it back together. And the pictures are here. But like I said, it's not easy to go clicking, digging and looking for the information. So this is what I did because each picture has a region inside the, the, the board. So there is the a sector rather, uh, 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 so video sector, I have all these pictures, horizontal sector, I don't know what this are, it's drawn in, in, on the board, so I, I just copied the name. 
uh, vertical sector. So these are all the pictures I took while disassembling. So if I need uh, information, I can go here and take a look at the capacitor. And here I have the number C602. So I can take a look and see this is R. So C, uh, where is it? 602. So this is it. I know the orientation. I know how it looks like. So every other capacitor also have a picture. So C603 and here it is. This one has even a label here to make it easier to find. Uh, 608. So every single capacitor is here. And not only that, there is a table which is another note with all the measurements. This I measured each one of them because uh, I was uh, the, my first thought was to purchase all of them and replace all of them, but they are, I don't know, they, they are working fine. So I'm going to replace just the ones that are not working fine. And I'm going to put them, the old ones back on the board. At least that's what, that's what I'm thinking for now. I'm not sure if I'll, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Then there we have. Then we have here uh, some. This is another details about how to disassemble the computer. I have. I even have measurements here. I don't know. Maybe I need to know the size of the computer. So these are the measurements. And down here, I have some quick reference guides. So reset and basic commands. And and there's even this cool PDF here with many. Uh, shortcuts to do things on the computer. So as you can see, whoops. So as you can see, this is a, I'm, I'm holding the wrong key here. I should hold the space bar to move. I'm holding command sometimes. That's why you're seeing this things not moving correctly here. So here's another information. This is one of the nodes. This is the type of the, 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 the computer and here, also, one thing that I did because when I uh, replaced uh, the capacitors uh, the other day, I went back to put the, the boards again on the computer and I didn't know the order of the boards. I, I kind of remember it and I could do it, but I had to <laughs> think about it. So I took a picture. This is new. I took a picture of the boards here and I created this table. PR number is just a number. This number here is just a code uh, Apple used to use back then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So PR one, two, seven. So, and these are the cards I have on each slot. And my plan here is to link this to notes about this card so I can go to those notes. And also another thing that I wanna do, something happened here, okay. So I know what it did. <laughs> Okay, let's put the manual back here. So this is, see what I mean? It's not, it's not so intuitive to, to find. I, I know where it is, but I have to think about it. And in contrast to something like this, I kind of was like, I can just uh, move around and find the, the, the information. So cards, soft card, uh, this is V2. So this should be here. Yeah, I was, uh, using, I was, I had another file. That's why I replaced the file. So that's why it disappeared. So I can take a look. I can even zoom in and read it. Whoops. And read it from here. There is the, the place where the, the card should be. Here it is. So you have to put it in slot one, two, or I mean, in two, three, or four. It may not look like, but there is order to this here. Let me show you. So this is the computer, uh, the internals. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do here is connect the thing. So on top of the computer, there is the monitor. Uh, then here, right on the side of the computer, is the disk. So the disk drive is there. Then there, there are the cards. So these are the cards that are inside the computer. This is the power supply unit. It's not here in this picture, but it stays right here. 
And then we have here the monitor and we have a type of connection, a uh, old type of connection, which is a composite video for this type of monitor. So uh, there's a link here and here there's uh, a picture showing how to uh, set the color and, and, and make it black and white or, uh, or set it to a black and white or a color uh, monitor. And it, this monitor is here because I plan to purchase a different one and try it here. So there will be a, another path leading to the computer from this side. So everything is kind of organized here in a way that I, I know because it is, I, I know how to find things because it is uh, displayed almost as the real computer. Okay, this is it for this one. Very basic video. I just wanted to show you why I prefer uh, to see the information uh, displayed on the canvas. And even though I have it very well organized inside the file structure, I think it's much better to look at and, and find, even find, move the screen around and find information here uh, using the canvas. That's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon and YouTube or YouTube and YouTube, <laughs> whatever you prefer. <laughs> you can also buy me a coffee. All the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.